Monday, 29th of uh, April, 2021. Just gonna start some seeds and tissue with tissue, wet tissues. So I thought I'll make a log of it and keep a record of what I'm doing, and maybe it's gonna help somebody. If it helps somebody, that's good. Here I've got a couple of tissue papers that I took and I've written names and dates on it. Date is good because it gives you an idea how many days since you've uh, put them in the tissue. There is certain amount of days after which seeds are not viable. Depends on different seeds. So it gives you an idea that okay, it's been sitting for long enough and I shouldn't really wait for any miracles now and just just discard them. Having said that, I have been waiting for a miracle. Because here are some of my hibiscus seeds, which only five of them germinated. So I put them in uh, pots. And these, I don't hope, these don't look like they're gonna come to life, but I am kind of hoping, because these are the last of the, this is Rosella hibiscus, the one that you can drink tea off and stuff. So those ones I'm not still, I'm still not discarding, I'm just hoping that maybe if any of them germinate. Anyway, so onwards and upwards. Uh, I've got some pumpkin seeds, I've put a little bit of water in, they shouldn't be too much water because that's gonna uh, you know rot the seeds I'm just getting it enough water just to get it wet place the tissue in one of the plastic containers that I've got and this is pumpkin these are pumpkin seeds that I grew last year as well, but they're not the seeds I saved. They're still the same seeds that I bought. They should be still okay. Seeds generally are viable up to five years. Certain seeds only last a year. That is like onion. And then some seeds only a year or two years. Here's a Cosmos seed that came out of the packet. So I'm just going to drop it off on top. Next, I've got uh, Tinder. I don't know what it's called it's in English. I think it's only Tinder. Once again, put the tissue. Try to keep them separate, not touching each other, because just in case if there is fungus in one. It doesn't travel to the other one if you can't keep one container per each variety of seeds that's better once again when you sprinkle seeds same thing keep them try to keep them separate not touching each other just in case if one rots it doesn't send the fungus to others so yeah just it's not there's not a hard and fast rule it's okay this tissue is breaking it, I tend to use kitchen towel because it's strong so here it goes it doesn't need light it doesn't need light all it needs is warmth so you can put it anywhere where it's warm once we see the seeds are germinating, then we transplant them into pots. And once they come through the whatever material you put in, compost, soil, or coke peat, or any other, any other medium that you put in, once they start coming through it, then that's the time they need light then you need to put them in sun. Um, 
gonna apply some sponge board. Let's see, I'm trying to nine, four once again. Same thing, just wet the tissue. Only a handful, not even a handful, a few seeds because I've got a few plants of it already. But just wanted some more. So, this is about it. This is the process, and that's about it. I'll show you in the next stage, in a couple of days, maybe three days' time, how it looks and so we'll move on from there so it's 30th of april today yesterday we put some seeds in uh, tissue paper uh, i was just checking this evening now and the cucumbers they have uh, already germinated so it took them less than 24 hours and you can see here the tips the roots coming through. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is to plant them in the soil. Tuesday 4th of May 2021 early in the morning. Why I'm mentioning that is because this zinnia was put in this tissue paper late in the night kind of like 9 10 o'clock on the second and here you see most of the seeds have germinated and today I'm gonna put them in one of the trays <clears throat> the other seeds which were planted before uh, it's this is pumpkin uh, one of the pumpkin variety I think they were like six seeds two germinated and I put them into pots and these four are still deciding what they want to do this was one of the cosmos seed that fell out it didn't germinate I don't know if it is the season for cosmos or not then here is tinda there are two seeds that has started germination and I'll put these two in today <clears throat> here we have a uh, sponge gourd I'm quite late on sponge gourd you can see one of the plant has got leaves I need to plant that out tonight today and there was only one courgette seed that I had uh, in, in the packs at home. I need to look for another one. I think I've got another pack of this courgette black beauty. Uh, so this one is maybe three years, four years old seed. I'm not sure if it's going to germinate. Anyway, the idea behind this is you moist... Uh, kitchen towel it could be a cloth as well any anything like that it can be placed in one of these plastic containers or on a plate and then covered with cling film or even in a ziploc bag anything that would hold the moisture won't let it dry and keep it moist and then you place it in a warm place where the temperature doesn't fluctuate a lot like for example if you've got a if you if you're uh, 
trying to germinate some seeds early in the season when it's quite cold outside they can be placed on top of the fridge because all the heat coming from the cooling system is going to keep the box warm and it's going to hold the temperature kind of steady or if you've got a airing cupboard or something like maybe a water heater inside you can keep it next to it anywhere where the temperature doesn't fluctuate a lot and it keeps it warm that should germinate the seeds so I'm gonna go ahead today and plant these out and that would conclude this kind of series or whatever you call it it's not a series of made a few films and then put them together into one but anyway it, if it helps anybody this is how I do it but there are other ways of doing it too so that's about it